There is a great horror beneath the manor. A crawling chaos that must be destroyed. Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is Darkest Dungeon. Postel has controlled themselves. Theon is thirsting. Bullion drank. To stain drink and Dubosk drink. Thankfully, we went to the courtyard last time and successfully acquired some bloods. Uh, we accomplished the quest. Um, the last time we tried, we failed miserably, lost half of our team. So, um, yeah. Composition Equilibra, something like that, is uh, successful. That team. And French is hard. I've never, never really tried to actually learn it, and uh, anytime I see a French word or pronunciation, it just baffles me. And that's not me being like uh, making accusations or anything. It's a lovely language, but it's hard for me. <laughs> okay, pause for year. Need some stress relief. Do you have any um, things that you must do? Is this with cleanliness? Possessed by demons? None of that matters. Go in here. We have a little bit of money. Not much. Uh, so let's see what team we need for what mission this time. Sadly, uh, we had the opportunity to get a bonus in the wield um, that would help us with this boss fight against the hag. But we went for the blood instead because we were down to like one vial. So we needed to uh, do that. There wasn't really... A choice if I'm entirely honest I'm not up for a long run for veterans we could try the uh, farmstead again this was a pretty tough run on his 20% stress Wow at high torch though which I usually do run at high torch but yeah quest is beneath you don't waste your talents you are all level 6 so you're not not even considered to be taken along right now we have a lot of folks that aren't leveled up like that. You know, what I may do is take Mustard and Cambrai, Trelli, and Papon on this short run to get them leveled up. Sadly, there isn't a uh, party combo that uses Shield Breakers and Flagellant, as far as I'm aware. In fact, I'm almost entirely certain that there isn't. Uh, but they're definitely not suited for any uh, level 6 run, so... I don't know. No, maybe we do the farmstead. Maybe we go for this. And uh, I'll still take some of the lower level guys. Even though I would prefer fours and fives going in. Um, probably not sixes. It would be easier with them. But we need to level up these other guys. Because soon it looks like all we're going to have are level six runs. So we need to level up as many as we can uh, before then. So let's look at a uh, party combo that involves or includes some of these lower level dudes and see if we can take on the uh, miller here okay i think this is probably the one that we'll go for the wardens uh there's a lot of healing in this group even though a couple of them are smaller heals per se i think instead of the zealous accusation we may go for the inspiring cry uh mostly for stress relief his abilities are reasonable um, reduce protection might be good if we wanted to swap something like finish him. Would be nice. Also, uh, pull instead. Um, nobody really benefits from mark targets, so it's not entirely important. And Noxious Blast and Plague Grenade for some good damage. Battlefield Medicine, of course. Uh, I'm, yeah, this one will be good for clearing corpses. Because if you remember, the corpses turn into uh, shards that explode. If we destroy them before they explode, we get a little bit of a heal. But I think with this group, uh, heals will be pretty unimportant. Because we'll be able to do the healing ourselves. And then so she's got her abilities already chosen here. Uh, let's see. So she's five and fours. She's four and fours. He's four and fours. He's five and fours. So we're going to invest a little money then into our abilities. Let's start with uh, equipment first so that we can max that out. 
and then we'll see what money we can invest into skills as bonuses. There we go. We'll start with the skills that we're actually going to use, which will be those for her. And then for, is this Tyrell? Yes. You are taking this one and the stun full work of pay, right? Yes. And then this. That's going to be uh, all we can afford for right now. So let's go into trinket time then and see what we can do for them. So increase to virtue, reduces stress, increases death blow resistance, reduces blight and bleed resistance. We can deal with that. Increase to healing skills, reduces damage, and increases stress heal received. Uh, he's the only one who's going to be healing stress. I guess he can use it on himself, too. I kind of like these Brawler's Gloves. Increase the damage if in position 1. It reduces the crit percentage and reduces speed a little. But it's very tempting. Uh, if we take another look at this one, increase the stress heal received in healing skills, but it reduces damage. I don't like that very much. This reduces the crit by 3%. Which... Oh, here we go. Crit is 2% still. And that's with the minus 5 from the trinket. So, I mean, out of these, I would probably want to give him some more health. To be totally honest. Uh, so I think we will go with that. Alright. I don't think the increase to scouting chance or the stress he'll received is going to help us out very much. Speed and dodge is uh, tempting. But we'd almost be better off with this. It's double the benefit with the stun and move resistance reductions. Uh, but that's okay with me. Okay, let's add in this uh, tentacle idol. Increase to virtue chance. And death blow resistance is the main thing. Main reason. Let's hang on, actually. Uh, what do we have for the Vestal that she can use? Increase to virtue chance. Reduce HP. Let's give her this, actually. Because that's an even better version of of that other trinket. So yeah, that will be for her. And... Okay, why not? Let's just stack on his dodge so that he's able to avoid damage. So he's got 3 and 12 uh, additional to those. And then reduce stun and move resistance. That's going to have to do for now. I'm not worried about her, uh, her melee skills. Blight skill chance will probably be good to have. That reduced max HP is annoying. We'll take it, though. And then we'll give her a life crystal. Here it is. Yeah, increase to 20% max HP. Reduces speed by one, but we'll have to accept it. And then for her, I want something that uh, severely reduces stress. So that's minus 10 death blow resist. She would be at a net minus 2. I'm not sure if that's acceptable. Uh, so I think we'll have to instead go with this book of relaxation. Reduces dodge, which is not ideal, um, but there's not much else that I can do about it. Okay, so this is our group that's going. Ruins phobe. Um, yeah, fear of beasts, egomania, lazy eye, tuckered out, fragile. What's bad healer do? Okay, it's, it's his own healing skills that are affected. Okay. We're going to try this. Nope. Farmstead. And we'll take our foods. Okay, so I've been advised by the website that there's no reason to bring... Oh, they stack more than four? Okay. There's no reason to bring shovels or torches... Um, okay, there is a chance of one curio showing up that requires a key. Not only one, there's only one curio that requires a key in the entire farmstead dungeon, but it could show up multiple times. We're only going to take one, though. Okay, so that starts a new stack. I think six will have to suffice. Let me rearrange this a little bit, because I don't appreciate it being this way. That'll do. We'll take... Um, yeah, we'll take four of these if we can. We'll need a couple of bloods, probably. And we'll take... 
take four herbs and four laudanum. So we're loaded up pretty heavy for this run. But if you remember when we faced it last time, we almost, we almost defeated the Miller. And uh, I have pretty good faith in this team. I think that it's possible we do well this time. Uh, we have a pretty good mix of damage dealing, dots, all of that kind of stuff. So I feel like we have a pretty strong probability of success here. Let's keep our fingers crossed and try not to be overconfident, though. And uh, see how it goes. Okay, one thing I thought of during the loading screen is that Collect Bounty can only reach uh, two, two positions while uh, Finish Him can reach three. So I'm tempted to swap these two, although this gets a bonus to marked targets, this gets a bonus to stunned enemies. 90% damage increase, though. Oh, Sorely tempted to do this, if I'm honest. Maybe we do this, and then we rely on her and her for stuns. Because she does have this blinding gas. I want to keep this for sure. Maybe instead of the grenade, we try the blinding gas first and see if that works out for us. Alternatively, we could go with his stunning blow. And keep the play grenade. Let's see how if... No, let's, let's keep the play grenade. Because she also has a stun. And while she doesn't have to heal, uh, we can use that offensively to give him the bonus damage. Okay, now I think I'm satisfied. Oh, uh, let's go. I wonder if I bring shards to put in that thing, if we get any kind of bonus. And we've got minus 10% healing received and plus 10% stress as our effect. Colors are so mesmerizing. I somewhat agree, I suppose. Okay, so what are they? He's immune to dots. He's susceptible to both bleed and blight. Maybe we start there. Caltrips him. Nice. Got that started. Uh, can we? No. We could probably, though. Uh, sure. We'll try. Nice. That was a cohesive and uh, perfectly understandable sentence. I promise. Okay. Do we continue on this guy? I feel like we do. I feel like I'm moving incredibly slow right now. I'm trying to be cautious, but uh, we're going to have to dive in here and get some attacks underway. So, um... Yeah. One thing, too, uh, if he's going first, I need to wait until uh, these guys have gone for a turn before I start diving in, because obvious reasons, I feel. Yeah, he's stunned right now, so wham, critted. Decimated. Corpse doesn't exist, and now we have access to both of these characters here. Uh, let's noxiously blast, because it does give us a plus one point per round. A devastating blow. So this guy should be severely damaged. Yeah, 14 on his turn. Uh, we can try. Let's see, we need to do like three damage to him. That's six. That's one to four. Dodged. Sad times, okay. Uh, we will have to hit him then. I didn't mean to stun, but either way he's dead. Slowly. And it was timed. Gently. Our uh, damage this over time, is how so. Life is taken. Okay, debuffed. He's getting a little stressed. Right, we're gonna have to take some damage. We're doing 4 to 8 there, or 4 to 8 here. So let's just uh, 91 and 15. 91 and 17. There we go. Back to the pit. He didn't have a chance to uh, do anything. What's that skill that he had active? That repost is the one. Divine Comfort. Nice crit. Sedated. Okay, and you're gonna go ahead and bulwark. I probably should have inspired her, if I'm honest. 
if I had thought about that for two seconds more, which doesn't make any sense because I was thinking very hard uh, for a long time there. And now I'm just kind of flying by. The more the merrier. Let's plague as many as we can here. Okay, uh, none of them have gone yet, so a stun is unnecessary because it's not gonna help us. The wounds How? Of war can be healed. How did that happen? Never hidden. Did I not click on the second man? How was he affected by that attack? Nope. Don't sow your seeds on me. Don't do it. Oh, disgusting. That's a lot of stress, too. I don't think Laudanum uh, relieves stress. I think it only relieves horror. So it doesn't make any sense for me to use it on uh, these folk right now. There. Now, the bounty hunter will have a choice of damage to deal out on this next turn. These are all humans, too, by the way, I noticed. Uh, this this man is dead. This man has got five health that he's going to have at the end of his turn. So, um... Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Let's kill him outright. Let's disorient, and we will uh, shuffle. Also, it'll clear the corpse, so we don't have to worry about it. All right, we could collect this bounty, or we could go ahead and finish this guy off. Destroyed. The Crusader can reach only this man, and he did not kill him. The Neither is he stunned or dotted, so he is going to survive. Unforgiving. To do damage to us. Yep, there's some seeds of madness there. We'll try to work on that. Uh, no, we will kill it with him. Another abomination. Cleansed from our lands. You are actually going to party heal. Compassion is a rarity in the fever pit. Oh man! Battle. I didn't expect him to go so early in the queue. Uh, it's okay though. Yeah, noxious blast this guy. He dodged. Okay, I was doing all that so I could inspire her though. There we go. Eight heals. And now we're in trouble. Hus. Such a terrible assault yeah. will not be left unanswered. Okay, there's what the laudanum is for. Let's go ahead and use one. Perfect. What is the stun resistance? Oh, we can't see him, because he's stealth for a turn. Okay, hit him with it then. That should be a no-brainer. Ah, I get it, because his head is brained. Wham! Dead. Annihilated. Still a corpse, though, sadly. I don't like that at all. We could get rid of it right now, but I'm... Uh... You know what? We might as well. Yeah. Because he can kill this man, and it's the only one that he can attack. He could do his inspiration on her, but we'll... What? Pause from labor? Is that a heal? It is. You sneaky bugger. And he was able to unstun himself. Murdered. He'll probably go first. It would surprise me if he doesn't. Okay. Uh... Consider me surprised. So we can't attack him. He doesn't need healing, so we are going to use our ability to attack the back line right away. Uh, she could do with some healing. If we judged this thing, we would get healing of all sorts. Another one falls. So her skill healed her, and uh, she was healed by the thing. Noxious Blast this man. Good job. And then this man is going to do his flailing. Ooh, good dodge. Excellent. I like that. Death by inches. Okay, we're actually going to inspire her instead of attacking. So she's getting unnecessary heals of all kinds. Okay, he's going to teleport us to the next zone. Amazing. A closer look, perhaps? Perhaps. So this is gleaming shards. I think we just get shards from this. I say just like it's a bad thing, but yeah, it is uh, fantastic, actually. So, I think it's 5 to 15. We got the minimum, but that's okay. And you can't you can't do any inspiration. So, let's read. Soothing Tincture. Yeah. I'm sure that this is just for horror. And then he's doing fine so far. Oh, haunting. Okay. Let's check the effects. So increase to blight skill chances, uh, plus 10% stress. A lost echo. 
monster effects. Trapped forever in the sparkling void. So they get a plus 15% blight skill also, and plus 10 dodge. So they're going to be extra dodgy now, uh, which isn't ideal. Let's try and Caltrip's back lines here. Really? They do have 60% resistance, so maybe that's understandable. Have a nice day. 120% resistance to that, so judging them would have been our best bet if we had been able to hit. Let's Plague. Even though they have high resistance, we have high skill. So he's dead. He's got the one health left. Nope, don't nibble me on the grave. Thank you. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. It sounds kinky, but it's not. It really isn't. Do we get the increase to dodge too? No, just them. We're doing well though, surprisingly so. I was. I'm very well pleased by that. Uh, it's quite, quite good. There we go. Executed with impunity. I'm glad the maggots don't leave corpses. It's really satisfying to not have to worry about that. Uh, we could, we could heal, but let's just murder. This doesn't do any damage, does it? No. Uh, let's heal. Two. We haven't used our battlefield medicine yet. I haven't really thought about it, honestly. Gone, fiend. We haven't suffered very many status effects besides As the horror fiend falls, for her. A faint hope blossoms. Inspire her, please. It's arguable. They have similar stress now. Oh no, not these guys. Uh, can we dazzle? We're better off dazzling her. A singular strike. It was. It was. Uh, we only usually get one strike per turn, so it has to be singular. Good job. They have really high resistances to dots, and I'm not a fan of that. Let's go ahead and. You know what? I'm tempted to shuffle here to get rid of that corpse because I don't want it turning into a thing. And then you can go ahead and start swiping. Confidence surges as the I don't care what Dora says. Nope, don't profuse me. Good job. Oh, gross. Now I can't reach her, and she's not stunned anyway, so that was all that was all horrible. Uh, let's plague. Come on. Good, good. Got her. Uh, 6 to 11. Let's go him. Okay, so he's dead on his turn. That's great. And we can just worry about this thing. So this is just Eldritch. We've got 5 to 10 damage there. 81 and 17. Okay, so this is the one. Nice crit. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Okay, a big hit here, please. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Continually onslaught. I will. Destroy them all. Oh, bit of damage there. Not horrible though. Let's do a big hit, please. That's okay. Um, yeah, we'll party heal for now. And you can plague again, I believe, because stacking those dots is going to help us out. And then hit him. Wow, okay. 19 dodge. Protection 33% as well. Nope. Resist. Oh, she could not. It's okay. No, don't do it. He's gonna bring in a foe. Oh, you fiend. I hate it so much. I hate these blobs. To no end. Um, what are you? 10 and 4? Okay, please do more damage to this thing. Give them no quarter. Uh, we're gonna Noxious Blast this guy. Okay, good. Um, it doesn't seem worth it. Two to four. One to three. Did he... Did he get a turn? I don't remember. And he's doing, what, six? Nine? So if we did three, he would die. Of course. One health. But he's dead next turn. That's okay. Oh. Do not. Do not, I said. I said do not. Did not listen. And we can't reach him, either. Thank you. Oh, can you please relieve her stress with some of your crits, please? I should have party healed instead. I need to not, um... 
get too frustrated. There we go. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. Inspire her, please. Thank you. And this will mean him dead. That's it for that wave. Yeah, that's what I thought. A place of refuge, if only for a fleeting moment. Okay, this heals 90% of max HP. Choose one. We're doing surprisingly well so far on health. Okay, we're default party order. He's still not uh, craving. I was under the impression the way it, that the website made it sound, um, mitigating cravings would have been a huge hassle, but so far it hasn't been. It was like, please do not take Reality anybody who's regained. cursed, or else you'll be in terrible dire straits. Not the case. Um, okay. So we could just, if we had done enough damage, we could have wiped him out uh, instantly. But we didn't, though because we didn't do enough damage. Okay, just blast him. Masterfully executed. It was, indeed. Oh, it's changed as well, so it reduced healing and increased stress. I didn't think about that. That is kind of fine, though. Okay. Bit of damage there. Uh, we are going to Noxious Blast because it gives us more damage per turn. Got him. Okay, murder him, please. I said murder him, not miss him. Oh, go for it. Ah, two health left. Kind of makes me wish I did have the zealous accusation for him. That stealth's right, yeah, but no damage to us. And he's already blighted, so uh, it's okay. Let's heal. Nice, crit. Wow. It would have been nice if she had gotten some stress relief from that, and it would make sense that she did, because she's the one who critted. Uh, it doesn't matter what we do here, because we won't be able to do anything on his turn, whatever we do. Let's kill him. So we can inspire. And surprisingly, she's the one who needs it. Instead of her. So that's okay. Oh, two horses. This is going to be blasphemous. Uh, let's throw some spikes at him. Spiky boys. Spiky floor boys. Boom. 70 resistance. Stunt him. Get so stunted, fool. Uh, yeah. That's the best we can do for damage. Blighted. Stunt. Buffed. Uh, blighted. Trampled. Oh no. Three damage. Oh wow. Totally shuffled us, though. That's not good. We'll inspire. And we'll bleed him again. Because we can. So he's up to 11. We'll blast this guy with some noxious. Okay. Down to one health. Nope. You bestial not scream. Haha, <laughs> get it. Because he... Beast. Okay, don't strike my rear. Stop it. It's done. Oh no, hand bleeding? Alright, you're gonna have to move. Uh, you're going to... Heal? Good. Yeah. And she can't even fix herself because she's out of sorts. A victory. Yes, it is. Perhaps the turning point. Perhaps. Alright, pop up. Actually, just one. Because I want him to be in front. Size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Uh, yeah, you're gonna move forward again. A madman's nightmare? I think it's our nightmare, but whatever you say. Uh, let's tantalizingly bring him hither. Okay. Uh, we'll stun... Do we dare stun this man? I feel like we can kill him in one blow, so I don't feel like it's worth it. Let's stun this bit. Stunted. Okay. And you can't even medic yourself, but let's just pop back. What are you taking? Six total. Two more. Only. We're almost halfway through this wave. Okay, some good stuff going on right now. Uh, 
We could stun this guy. I don't think they can repost if they are stunned successfully. If we just smite him, do we kill him? 95% chance. Dead. Easy. Easy beans. I'm not a fan of peas, so I don't easy peasy. Wham! Dead. I feel like that shouldn't leave a corpse because we did like more than twice his health and damage or something like that, so. We did we did like five more damage than he has health. So I feel like he should have just died. Uh, we'll blast this guy noxiously. Okay, six health he has left. Nope. I want to cease my labor. Stop it. He doesn't have his bulwark of faith anymore, does he? Surely not. Because we passed through a, a zone. Is he dead? He's dead. Okay. Uh, we'll inspire her then. We're getting towards the boss, so she needs to not be stressed out if at all possible. Wait, what? Did that corpse just vanish instead of turning into an evil uh, crystal? I feel like it did. All right, get so stunned. Wonderful. Come on, let us go before him, please. The bounty hunter ought to be able to uh, go pretty quickly. There we go, let's finish him. Beautiful. Okay, you're going to uh, clear the corpses like this. So we don't have to worry about it. Okay, not bad, not bad. And we get to inspire again. I like that trumpet sound in the background. It's really great. Oh, no. No, don't move. Oh, that not, not bad at all. You can move too as well. So we're back to normal already. Stun. Wow, a crit. Come on. Yeah, got him. A beautiful. Uh, Noctisly blast him, please. He probably gets to go first on the next round, though, so this won't last. What are we looking at? 18, 18? Let's do some damage here. Okay, they brought in another horse. Oh, wow. Okay. He only has nine health. I feel like this is overkill. The accursed champion falls. Okay. He did his best scream. Let's go. Not bad. Uh, yeah. We can disorient. He's gone already, so this will give him a good stun. And then strike him. Nice. 19. That's excellent damage. Okay. Finish. The greater the beast, the greater, greater the, the glory. glory. That's right. Heal. I think she has some damage to her. Is she... Yeah, one health. Uh, sure. Wow, crit it for four. Stress relief, please. Thank you. And go ahead and de-stress her. Good job. We could have attacked the corpse, but it's gone anyway. Here's this man again. I don't like him. I don't like him one bit. He's a husk, so we don't get any bonus damage against him. If we could kill this guy... That's a stretch. We would have to do max damage. Ah, half. That was minimum damage, but at least he dodged the repost. Okay, he got his crops flailed. It's not fair. Uh, we're not going to worry about that, though. Go ahead and stun this guy. He'll get to go and eliminate the stun afterwards. We should have probably attacked him, but we can do it now. Yeah, I should have I should have waited to attack him with him and used his uh, finish him attack on this guy before he was stunned. Uh, we could obnoxiously blast this guy. He's now tainted. Nope. Don't do it. Okay, and he's damaging. So we're going to have to heal him up a bit. Okay, don't flail me. Oh. Scarecrow's rotten. Um, yeah. We brought the anti-venom, so let's use it. It only makes sense. He's dead, right? He's dead. So we will finish him. Uh, uh let's... Let's pitch in for damage on this fool. There we go. And then we'll do a big heal here. Thank you. We'll uh, plague this guy so that he starts ticking down. I imagine we'll get teleported before they're all dead. Oh no. He so deceives in us. That's so gross. Okay, they're both within reach. 
this anti-venom and then smack him, please, before he gets a turn. Okay, here it is. Battle behind, battle ahead. But for a moment, peace. A chance to rest. I believe this just uh, puts us into camping. And I'm correct to believe so. Flame's color is somehow wrong. Okay. Gathered we'll close, go, Max. In tenuous firelight. Top them up. Easy companionship. I can't remember. Is the Miller a two, a size two enemy? I don't think he is. But the horses are, so we'll do this. Uh, reduces stress. I don't think we can be ambushed. So we'll speak zealously. Does anybody else have encourage? That's one time. Uh, pep talk is what I need. Moves disease or heals. Do you have pep talk? No. Accuracy and crit bonus. We only have three left. One companion. All right, so this is it then. And then we rest. Feels his heart, okay. Place is horrific, but he's at ease. That's wonderful. Straight back as a royal guard. Yeah, we're looking pretty solid, actually. It's not to say that we're definitely going to make it, though. He is. He is two uh, size, isn't he? Blood. That's marvelous. So we get all kinds of good bonuses now. How are you feeling about this? 95% to resist? Well, we have to try. Got him. Okay, finish him, please. For, let's see, 10 to 22... 19 and 23. Yeah, that's the one. He is a poor soul. He's not a husk. He's not Eldritch. We're going to noxiously blast him because he deserves it. Yeah. So, blighted. He's immune to bleed, though. So, the caltrips are unnecessary. Nope. Ow. It's pretty good damage, actually, for his size. Nice. Okay, uh, he's not anything, so it's got to be this. 95-25, 95-23. Oh, I always look for that crit, and I just haven't seen it yet. Um, yeah, we're okay for everything right now. He's still 95 resist. That's 5 to 9. 1 to 3. But still, if we could stun him, it's awesome. If we stun this guy too, though, that's pretty good. Let's hit him. We're going to have to eventually get rid of him anyways, so... Because I don't think he disappears when this guy dies. And this guy's going to try to reap souls or whatever it is that he does. Nice, nice. There we go. Okay, and he's up to 12 damage. Yeah, Winter's Breath, he's going to freeze this thing. Is he still stunned? No. But now he's got huge protection. Ooh, good dodge. Good dodge. But we can't uh, guard. Okay. Master beckons. He's brought in a rock. Don't do this. Not to me. Oh. We have to kill this guy before he's able to uh, be damaged, though. Ish. So 5 to 10. 5 to 10. Okay. Oh. Man. Wouldn't it be great if we had something that reduced protection? Like a target whistle of some kind. Healed. No, don't reap me. Oh, injury. that's pain. Fear. Um, yeah, his resistance to blight is negligible. So that's going to be what kills him, honestly. Don't bend my reality. Okay, we're okay. No, don't do it. It hurts so much. Oh, I thought that healed him when he did that, but it doesn't. Okay. Um, yeah. Murder. Okay. We need some serious heals, though. Finish him, please. Nine is some damage. Uh, oof. I'd almost rather do a party heal, and I probably should have. Uh, no, you're gonna play grenade this guy. Because he needs to be stacked on. Eleven. 
Come on, we're so close. Mortality oh. clarified in a single strike. That does so much damage. Okay, please uh, do more than seven. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, don't do the same thing, okay? No, you were supposed to master Beckon. Oh. Vision. The end approaches. Okay, come on. Let us go first. Thank you. Good job. You alone have taken him down. We did it, folks. On the dirt, he so ruthlessly. Achievement unlocked. A merciful act. What do we get? Okay. I was like, there's no way that's it, right? <laughs> So we got the Solar Crown, reduced stress if torch is above 75, crests, 30 comet shards, 6,750 gold, as well as all the supplies that we took along with us, which I hardly, hardly used. These are comet shards also, so we got 35 from kills. That's pretty good. Leveled up, level 6, um, level 5 as well. So Fear of Eldritch, I guess. The Natophobia increases stress at low health and plus five dodge. That's pretty good. Known cheat, so you don't gamble. Backtracker, no stress penalty when walking backwards. That's kind of nice. And she got diseased with gray rot, which is very serious. And wield scrounger, replaced Eldritch Slayer, which is pretty sad. I should have locked that one when I had the chance. That's going to do it for this episode, though. If you want to catch another one, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. Thank you so much for all the time that you spend on my channel, and I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.